Today we are going to take a look at the Cinco Mac D2. In here I have the Cinco Mac D2, so let's open this up and take a look at it. This is the Cinco Mic D2, which is a hypercardioid shotgun microphone. As a hypercardioid shotgun microphone, it has a very directional pickup pattern. Cinco says that it has an ultra flat frequency response with a range of 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz, which is pretty standard for most shotgun microphones. It is a pretty simple looking microphone with no switches or buttons for things like low cut filters, and it has a solid brass body like the Deity S Mic 2 up here. We'll do a full side by side with all of these in a little bit, but it also has gold plated connectors on the end and you'll see on the front end, the grid pattern is also very similar to the Deity S Mic 2. Whether they'll sound the same or not remains to be seen, but we'll figure that out in a little bit. I'll be recording into the Zoom H8 recorder and you can see I have four cables plugged in here because we're gonna be putting it up against the Rode NTG5, the Sennheiser K6 ME66 and the Deity S Mic 2. So let me go ahead and finish telling you what's in the box and then we'll plug it in. We have a wind jammer blocker thingy. It's not a dead cap like you get on the road and a lot of other microphones. It's, it's, it's a foam windshield, but it's actually flocked with a kind of fur and we will be doing a wind test later on in the video as well. So you can hear how well or how badly this sounds compared to the traditional dead cap. We also get a short XLR cable in here, which is a little bit odd because normally you'd use a short XLR cable like this for a pistol grip, but there's no pistol grip in here. <laughs> and I don't think Cinco even makes a pistol grip, but we also have a microphone holder in here that this just clips into, Ooh, which is easier said than done. It's a little bit tight. There we go. Bloody hell. That is a pain to get on. But the fact that it was so difficult to get on tells you it's not going to come off very easily. You're not going to have this on a stand and, or even mounted upside down. Your microphone is not going to come falling out of this thing. So that's good. And it all comes inside this nice little case that zips up. And it's not a hard case. It's not a soft case, but it's like rigid with foam inside. And we have a little user manual. So right, I will get this plugged in up there and then we'll switch over and hear how that sounds. So now we are recording on the Zoom H8 and I've got my headphones on just so I can have a listen to all the microphones. I have them here. The first one is the Rode NTG5. The second one is the Cinco Mic D2. The third one is the Sennheiser K6 ME66. And the last one is the DTS Mic 2. So as I'm talking now, I'm gonna flip through each of these and you can hear how they compare and how they sound for yourself. The only thing I've done to these in post is to balance out the audio levels so that they all sound at the same loudness, but I've not applied any kind of compression or EQ or anything like that to any of these microphones. I need a book. My assistant's gave me a book. You've chosen the literal most difficult to get to book, John. We are going to be reading from the book Package Design now, and we're going to have a read through at one of the briefs, which happens to be for whiskey. Diageo saw an opportunity to launch a lighter coloured whiskey with a smooth and subtle taste aimed at men in their 20s and 30s. Bloom was tasked with creating a highly distinctive design with strong masculine cues and a contemporary edge. The design solution, an innovative new bottle shape was created based on the classic whiskey bottle, but with a twist in the form of a diagonal slice feature cut into the front, representative of the clean, crisp, cut through taste of the whiskey. To reinforce the product's quality credentials, the foot of the bottle was embossed with the JMB branding, emphasizing category authenticity. The minimalist branding was printed onto a clear label, working to cue clarity to, of the product and supporting the clear proposition. The design combines quality and brand reinsurance with sufficient disruption to cause reappraisal, reappraisal, interrogation and trial. And the rest of this is in German and I don't speak German. So that shows you how the four microphones all sound side by side. We are gonna head outside right now. We're gonna do some location tests and we're gonna do some wind tests. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the River Clyde right next to me. We've come out on location because these are the types of places that I normally use shotgun microphones. 
I do a lot of sound design recording out on location particularly in natural places around rivers waterfalls that kind of thing so instead of just doing the studio samples that everybody does and yes I understand the irony of that because you've just watched me do exactly that but I've come out on location to see if I can use the shotgun microphone to its advantage to pick out some localized sounds in this whole mess of river which you can probably hear right behind me right now so let's pop you down and then I'm going to head over there with the Senko mic d2 and uh, we'll see what we can hear So here I have the Synco Mic D2 going into the Zoom H8 recorder. I'm monitoring on the Sennheiser HD 25s. We're going to have a listen to the river and see what sounds we can hear. First, I'll just show you what the overall river sounds like, which will be pretty similar to what you just heard on the on-camera microphone. And you can hear as well when I turn away from the river, the sound gets a lot quieter compared to that of my voice and I got to adjust my headphones they're slipping off my head so we will point it down to some really close proximity sounds and see how well how they sound It's quite amazing the difference you get in the sound moving it just 12 inches away from here to where the water meets water rushing from the other direction. And there goes my foot getting wet. <laughs> it had to happen, didn't it? So as you can hear, the, the Synco Mic D2 is very directional. It, it manages to pick out sounds extremely well, letting you cut out almost everything and just hone in on very specific sounds. Right, we're gonna go and do a wind test now. Well, no, technically we're not because there is absolutely no wind here at all. This is probably the first really warm day of the year in Scotland so far. But it was windy a couple of days ago, so we're going to go ahead and cut to that and you can hear the wind test. You're going to have to forgive any exposure inconsistencies in this bit. We're filming this review a little bit out of sequence because I looked out the window this morning and I saw that the trees were blowing all over the place, so I thought, great time for a wind test so we've come out along the bank of the river Clyde we've got the Synco Mike D2 with us and we've got the Rode NTG5 now both of these are currently wearing the windshields that come supplied with the microphones the NTG5 is the usual fluffy dead cap type windshield the one on the Synco Mic 2 is more like the foam windshield but it's like flocked on the outside with velvet so I'm curious to see how well or here how well it deals with the wind the wind seems to have died down a little bit now. I am going to keep talking and prattling on until the wind comes back and hopefully it will before I run out of breath. But I'm, yeah, I'm curious to hear exactly how this will sound. I, I tried a similar sock on a different brand microphone a few years ago and there's the sun. It didn't sound that great. So I'm hoping that this one actually manages to deal quite well with the wind. The, the Rode one I'm pretty confident with, but I thought I'd bring the two out to give you a bit of a side by side. On the camera, we've got the Rode video mic NTG but that is a lot further away than these are these are about 15 inches from my mouth pointed just in front of it and that one's about five feet away so this should give you a good idea as well of the difference between an on-camera mic from five or six foot away versus getting better quality audio from about 15 inches away with a proper phantom powered XLR shotgun mic and both of these are going into the Zoom H8 on separate channels so I'll be bouncing between the two of these throughout the time I'm talking. I can hear a jet overhead how's the microphone handling blocking that out can you guys hear that as well or not? And if you can hear it does it even interfere with my speech or is it just there in the background and it fades off and goes away? 
All right, so the wind has finally come. I'm speaking into the microphones. This is what the Synco Mic D2 sounds like with its windshield. And this is what the Rode NTG5 sounds like with its windshield. How do they stand up? Can you hear the noise at all? If you can, is it clipping the signal? Is it distorting my voice? You let me know down in the comments below. We've just got a couple of quick tests to do with this now before I head off home. The first is to get an idea of just how directional this microphone is. It's about 18 inches away from my mouth right now. You might hear a little bit of the, the natural goings on around me. There's a little bit of wind and rustling in the trees above. But I am going to move around this way and you can hear how my voice sounds as I get a little bit off axis and then coming back right in front of it and then going a little bit the other way so this gives you an idea of how dead on you need to be with this microphone if you're pointing it at a human subject that's talking like if you're booming overhead now normally yes you'd be monitoring this on your headphones and you'd be able to hear exactly when the microphone's going out and you'd be able to reposition your boom to make sure it points properly at the sound source but if you're doing like i am now where you're just sitting in front of the camera and you're not monitoring the audio because you don't want to sit here wearing a pair of headphones you've got an idea of how much you can move in front of the camera now the other test also relates to directionality but it's it's how well it blocks off axis sound so what i am going to do is i am going to spin this microphone around in 90 degree increments so you can hear how it sounds on each side and from directly behind it and i'm going to keep talking while i do that so here it is turned 90 degrees clockwise pointing that way and this is how i sound when i'm directly off to the side of the microphone and here's how it sounds when it's pointed directly away from me this is when it's turned 90 degrees the other way and again i'm directly off to the side of the microphone that is all the tests we are going to do for now with the synco mic d2 we're going to wrap up here but it's a little bit ominous because i can hear trees creaking overhead hopefully none of these big trees decide to fall over while we're here but i wanted to talk a little bit about the synco mic d2 who i think it's good for where it stands out against the competition particularly the competition that you've seen earlier on in the video because i've edited all, all that up now and had to listen to how it sounds if you're new to video and you're looking to buy your first xlr shotgun microphone for what this one costs it is an incredibly killer deal this costs about 200 dollars, which is about a hundred dollars less than the deity s mic 2 if memory serves i think that's around 299 this one's 199 it's 300 dollars less than the rode ntg5 and it's like 800 dollars cheaper than something like the sennheiser mkh416 which is the model that replaced my sennheiser k6 me 66 the sound quality coming out of this thing yes you can tell a difference between this and the other three microphones that i compared it to if you're listening on headphones and you listen very very carefully and you're listening to them all side by side on its own i mean you're listening to it right now how does it sound because to me it sounds pretty fantastic especially for $200 if you are a beginner looking to get your first xlr shotgun microphone this is an excellent way to go because it won't break the bank. You don't need to invest a whole lot of money just to dip your toes in the water and see what it's like. Yes, you do also need to get a field recorder as well, or depending on your camera, a little module that sits on your hot shoe and takes an XLR input. I'm using the Zoom H8 recorder right now, which I bought recently to replace my old Tascam DR100, which is also pretty excellent. The main reason I went for the H8 over the plethora of 32-bit field recorders that are coming out now is the fact that it has so many inputs, which lets me do reviews like this where I can plug up to half a dozen of them straight into the recorder and record them all simultaneously. I don't have to read the same passage from a book out four five six different times i can just read it all once and record all six microphones all at once no bother if i was looking to get something that was just one microphone a camera heading out to record i'd probably go with something like i think it's the zoom f3 the f3 is the little tiny 32-bit recorder that's just got two inputs that's probably the one i'd go for if i wasn't using this and i will probably pick one of those up at some point just for when i don't need to do this and don't need six microphone inputs but uh, but yeah i think that's gonna be it for now i have been absent from youtube the last 
well, most of the last year or two, really. Um, part of this is due to some health issues. Part of this is due to a house move, and most of my stuff is still in storage, which has made it difficult to really film anything. Now I'm hoping I can start getting back into a regular schedule. So I have several videos in the works of cool things to show you. But uh, for now, that's going to be it. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, all the rest of it. Share it with your friends. I'm going to have links to well, to, definitely to the Synco Mike D2 and a bunch of the other stuff I've shown off in this video down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.